Hey guys, in this video I'll be going over fuel management for the F-14. The fuel gauge is right here. At the top of the fuel gauge there's this thing that says bingo. If you scroll on the wheel here you can adjust the bingo. This basically lets you set a warning for yourself. For example, if I set my bingo to 3700, that means that when I have 3700 pounds of fuel left, there will be a little warning light that comes up here. Next is this gauge here that shows your total fuel in your internal and external tanks. Then there's these two bars in the middle. The bar on the left shows how much fuel is in your aft fuselage tank and also your left feeder tank. The bar on the right shows how much fuel is in your forward fuselage tank and your right feeder tank. Then there's these gauges here that say left and right. By default, they show you how much fuel is in the left and right feeder tanks. But on the left side, there's this little rocker switch. If you hold left click, then it sets the rocker switch to external. And while you're holding that down, the left and right gauges will show how much fuel is in your external wing tanks. If you hold right click, it sets it to wing and they will show how much fuel is in your internal wing tanks. That's the fuel gauge for the pilot. If you click two on your keyboard and go to the back seat, there's also a fuel gauge right here that shows your total fuel. Now let's go over the controls for the fuel system. First, there's this switch that says feed. By default, it's on normal, but you can also put it to forward or aft. There's basically two feeding systems for the engines. If we look back at this gauge, you can see the left feeder tank and the aft fuselage tank feed fuel to the left engine, and the forward fuselage tank and the right feeder tank feed fuel to the right engine. So if you have this switch on normal, then it will work like that. The two feeder systems will feed fuel to their respective engines. But if you put the switch on forward, then both engines will only get fuel from the forward fuselage tank. And if you put it on aft, then both engines will only get fuel from the aft fuselage tank. And the reason for that is in case there's an imbalance of fuel in the system. For example, let's say my left gauge is a lot higher than my right gauge. That means I have a lot more fuel in the aft fuselage tank. So I want to drain that one out first to even them. So what I would do is set this to aft to temporarily disable the forward fuselage tank and only get fuel from the aft tank. And then once both of these bars are even again, I would set this back to normal. Then there's the external tank transfer switch. If you have this on auto, then when you're on the ground, the engines will not take fuel from the external tanks. And once you get into the air, they will start getting fuel from the external tanks. If you put it onto override, it will allow the engines to get fuel from the external tanks, even when you're on the ground. And if you put it on off, it will not allow fuel to flow out of the external tanks no matter what. Then there's the fuel dump switch. If you turn this on, it will just start dumping fuel out of the plane. And then there's the refuel probe switch. I'll go more into air refueling in another video, but I'll just go over this switch really quickly. If you have it down, it's retracted. If you have it to the middle position, then it will only refuel the fuselage tanks. And if you have it all the way up, then it will refuel all the tanks. Those were all the gauges and controls for the fuel system. But besides that, the fuel system is pretty much automatic. If you just leave all these switches in auto or whatever their default position is, you don't really need to do anything. The plane will automatically drain fuel from the correct tanks. And if you have external tanks equipped, it will automatically drain fuel from them. So that's all you really need to know about the fuel system. Thanks for checking out this video and I'll see you later.